exciting yeah, it is. adventure of Trent Montauk, just returned from an amazing six-month cross-country hot air balloon trip. Wow. Mr. Montauk, thanks for joining <laughs> us. I don't mind admitting to you right up top, sir. I have always fantasized about yeah. riding in a hot air balloon. Uh, Haven't done it yet, but it seems like so much fun. Dreamy. Well, in my case, uh, I did it for a very good cause uh, to uh, raise the awareness uh, for people of horse abuse in America. Really? I've always wanted to go in a hot air <laughs> balloon. Too. Tell us about it. It's very interesting. Four years ago, I read a, uh, an article about racehorses being slaughtered because they are past their prime. These horses are shoved into trucks and carried long distances, uh, so they actually suffocate from lack of oxygen slowly that's and bad. painfully. Oh, that, that, that is just terrible. But, yeah. but how does the balloon aspect of this come yeah. into it? Did you always want to be a balloonist? Yeah, the balloon really wasn't the point. The, it was something to draw attention to the cause. I knew the, the media needed to pay attention to me, and I thought a balloon was a good idea. Well, yeah. Well, I, you know, a balloon journey is not a bad way to go, Riding is it? Riding in a balloon is <laughs> well, terrifying. Well, I understand you brought some video along, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. Should we take a look at the video? Let's look at the video now, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's look over, at that. That's wow. the Badlands of uh, South Dakota. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the balloon pictures. provided me a way to let people know what the face of horse abuse was like. Mm. Oh. Look at, oh my God. Um, uh, tell us about the uh, the day-to-day -day life yeah, in a balloon for yeah. six months. I mean, like, uh, what did you eat? Right. I right. ate very little. And even then, I was so much better off than these horses you see in Central Park pulling people mm -hmm. around. Well, I, protein bars. I, I very little. Yeah. Yeah. Who were suddenly very dropped little. dead from exhaustion I, now, after years. didn't you say you had some photos that you took along your journey? All uh, right, yeah, yes. we should take a look at those. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, now these are not of your balloon, right? No. Okay. I found mistreated horses all uh, across so, the country, uh, wherever I- Now you I... say the journey took uh, six months. That's a real long time to be by yourself. At what point do you start talking to yourself? <laughs> I <laughs> spent a lot of time alone with my thoughts, obviously, and yeah. my, my thoughts peaceful. were about pregnant mares peaceful. tethered into hey, tiny little stalls so you could collect their urine from them. <laughs> See this tube? What's that This for? tube is shoved up the their balloon? urethras to collect oh, their urine. Uh, right. Have okay, you ever okay, had one of these okay, stuck up enough. you? Uh, I brought uh, you some gifts. We're just about out of time with this uh, segment, this but we do want to thank you very uh, much for It features my website, horsesdeservebetter.com. Perhaps another time we'll invite you back to talk about that. You can see our that. emblem the meantime, on horsesdeservebetter.com. You stay tuned please, because please uh, coming up, we're going to have some recipes that will make your tacos taste more American than ever before. In the kitchen, I'm famished. Stay tuned.